video, I'll show you how to modify floors to make slopes. As you can see in this project, I have a terraced site where, where I needed to make inclined floors. Let's go to the file. As you can see here, I have this inclined floor, this one, and I also have it here. These are floors, but they are inclined. Let's start. Of course, first you need to draw a floor. Okay. And from here, you can define a slope. You can define a slope and just write it here. Or if you want to do it manually, you can just click tick and it's easier for you to go to the 3D and you find the floor. Click on modify sub elements in the modify floors tab after selecting the floor and select the edge that you want to left and just write a number for example one meter and you can do this for points also you can lift this one to make it higher let's return it back and so on i'll copy it Control c paste it to the same place and now actually we have two in the same place i want to reset the shape of one of them just to show you the, the difference how I left it there. You can do one more thing. You can add split line or only point. But let's try the split line. I'll add two. Go to the 3D. I want to to make this as a landing. Of course, this is not not the right way to make ramps, but. Uh, it's good for slopes. You just go to one point here, 614, 614, 15. You need to make all the points uh, similar. Okay, now as you can see, we have this. Let's uh, lift this more. 1500. And now if you want to close the area here, you can just draw uh, a wall. I'll hide this inclined one. I'll draw walls. Okay. Now go to the side view. Uh, I'll return the inclined one. Now uh, I need to edit the profile and select this outline I want this to be here okay. trim tr okay and tick I think I forgot to yeah, I forgot to delete this one tick now it's closed and you can just select it and mirror it for the other side and it's done of course you can close it from here too thank you for watching and i hope it was useful